And San Miguel de Allende is also known as the heart of Mexico. Just west of the city is the actual measured geographical center of this country. San Miguel de Allende is a very real central source of this Mexican magic and mystery that radiates and flows outward and touches every part of this country. And a Mexican friend of mine told me that San Miguel was built on the mountain of quartz and that somehow this huge amount of quartz captures, magnetizes good energies. So we don't need to wear little crystals around the neck, we walk on it. All of these wonderful, beautiful places that surround, that are throughout Mexico, radiate from the center, from the heart of Mexico itself. You go around every corner, if you're a painter or a photographer, there's a motif. Excited to be here. We arrived at night. We walked to the Hardeen. We sat down in the Hardeen in front of the parochia, the cathedral, and we just sat there. And we were in awe. We had never seen anything like that in our lives. What brought me to San Miguel? It sounds like a fairy tale, really. A friend of ours, Isibel, told us, guys, come to San Miguel de Allende. W where is San Miguel de Allende? In Mexico. It's wonderful, you love it. So in December of 2007, we came. It became the place to take our chances for our dream of dreams, a true, honest paradise. When we arrived for the first time... We couldn't see much yet. Just little glimpses here and there from the headlights of the taxi, like, oh, there's a piece of red, chartreuse green, or what's going on here? And then the magic unfolded in the morning. Woke up the next day and saw this place for the first time. We walked and walked and walked until our legs couldn't bear us anymore. Nobody drives here. Uh, the cobblestones, the architecture, everything just creates a plethora of, of visual uh, excitement. This is a walking city. You can walk across the entire city in a half hour. None of the streets are straight. 
so there's corners and there's light coming from all directions. The sky is blue year round. We rarely have a cloudy day in this town. The level of energy here I have never encountered in my life. Yeah. So. Whether it's family dancing in the streets, singing, playing guitar, loving, kissing, hugging, I mean life, not, not, nothing is hidden. You know, the Mexican people are probably the most friendly, kind and harmonious people around. Not only the beauty of the city, but of the Mexican people. It's this incredible fusion of harmony and sincerity. Whether Hispanic or indigenous, they want to make you feel welcome. They are gentle. The family values are so strong. So you have this incredible artistic activity in this very ancient, beautiful colonial city. There's many, many artists who are working and engaging with each other. Imagine a rich palette of oil color, and each color is a different culture or a different piece. Here in Mexico, all of those colors get mixed together, but it doesn't turn into mud. We have this combination of richness of Mexican culture along with the indigenous cultures and their celebrations and events that go on all the time. Whether it's family dancing in the streets, singing, playing guitar, loving, kissing, hugging, I mean life. In San Miguel, the Mexican culture is unique. Uh, it's the most traditional city in this country. There's a huge amount of history that goes on in this little tiny town. Estoy moliendo mi café toda la noche. In 2008, San Miguel was uh, made a World Heritage City. And so that began a major improvement in the quality of life for everybody here. You feel this sense of safeness and you feel this sense of harmony that, that is here. And so that breeds within oneself the natural ability to just let go and relax. Ten years from now, for me, I believe San Miguel de Allende will be the 21st century Mexican Montparnasse. That left bank, the district on the left bank of Paris, what it developed into between 1909 and 1929 is going on as we speak. So what I would like to see in ten years is a San Miguel that grows with its energy, 
magnetizing more artists and more people willing to leave the civilized technological world and just be, just be and share. I think it will become a global retreat in more ways than one. Doors open here, they don't close. It's, it's probably the highest quality of life that I think anybody could experience anywhere. I feel at home here. It's been an unfolding, magical experience every day. It's a blessed country. It really is. And it's a privilege to be here. Absolutely. Yay.